Hey everybody, Godzilla419 here, and in the ensuing months that I have been basically out of commission, we've got this huge amount of Godzilla movie news, so I'm going to take it, you know, sort of in the order that it's come out, I'm going to skip a little bit, but we've been getting all these new movie posters, you know, ever since the release of the teaser trailer, we've been getting new stuff, and we got just this awesome trailer, uh, pick, um, poster that, you know, guys parachuting, or, um, base jumping, or whatever it's you want to call it, out of the plane onto where Godzilla is, and it's Godzilla's towering over the buildings, looking two to three times taller than he ever was before, and with, and Empire Magazine has actually released some really cool, you know, s stuff that could, kind of, kind of like movie poster, kind of vanguard -y kind of stuff. It's looking really cool. Godzilla's looking really awesome. And also, we get other stuff. There's, you know, other things coming out that look like Spanish posters and stuff that are looking freaking amazing, too. In other news, we're also getting a God... Um, before the release of the movie, we're going to be getting on, in, um, on May 7th a prequel Godzilla Awakening hardcover um, graphic novel sort of thing. It's from DC Comics, and expect that to come out. That's going to be so incredibly awesome. I'm looking forward to that, too. We also run into these, um, been running into images of um, supposed toys that are going to be released. And I gotta say, they look kind of crappy. They look really low quality. They look like somebody... Not to say that somebody's work isn't good, it's just that these are not high quality, what you expect for something like this. And if you get to look at pictures of, you know, stuff with boxes, that the box looks completely ridiculous. It has, like, very limited text on it, and basically the picture looks like they stole something from the San Paolo thing. But we, I've gotten information, you know, I'll link it, that um, Jack Specific is going to be doing toys for the movie. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to that. They're a fairly good company. Anyway, here's the big thing. We have an official trailer that came out last month. You know, just like a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to link you to where you could see it yourself. And I'm going to be showing some images, you know, that uh, some screen captures from it. I've reversed all of them. Hopefully this doesn't get me flagged or anything. But, I just gotta say, the trailer looks awesome. And in fact, uh, Empire did an interview with Gareth Edwards, and he did, like, this in-depth, you know, talk about the trailer. And you could just, it, it has a lot better information than what I can give you in it, because it's a ten-minute video, and I don't want to try to cram all that in right here. I just recommend you go look at it. We'll tell you one thing, that Statue of Liberty, that's the Las Vegas Statue of Liberty, so any... Um, idiots that are going, oh, no, no, that's not New York, well, they messed it all up. No, that's, that's Las Vegas. And I love the concept that Godzilla's been around for 60 years, just we, the government's known about him, they've been trying to kill him all this time with the nuclear bomb tests in the Pacific, and he's just, it, it, and it's just really cool. You know, some people are like, well, the government, yeah, they're going to kill a one-of-a-kind creature that we could learn so much about. Well, we see all these skeletons um, at one point, and I'm basically thinking, you know, how unique is this creature if there's been, like, dozens of them in the past that we might have killed, we might not have. But anyway, there's also one, this one with, um, what people are like, oh, that's a tentacle holding a bomb. Edwards himself says that's not a tentacle. It might be on a bomb of some sort, but that's just so freaking cool looking. Anyway, uh, the whole thing looks amazing. I, I I can't I can't I can't adequately describe it. And then at the end, we get a look at Godzilla himself, and it's just too awesome for words. And what can I say except how epic this is? And um, I have links to all this, a bunch of stuff in the description. Check it out. Uh, much better source of information than just listening to me secondhand at all. Anyway, I wanted to keep this short. 
check out all this stuff on your own for all of it firsthand. This is Godzilla419, signing out.